How's it going guys? Welcome back to another one of the videos where we are going to be coaching someone for their PVM. This is actually a clip from Ryan Ecchi. You guys may uh, possibly know who he is, but he is someone that has been uh, around in my community for a while as well. And he is currently working on um, his Seru kills. So we've taken a look at his Seru kills and we're going to go ahead and see if we can help him improve at this. He's, this is like his first attempt, by the way. This is his first kill that he's actually done and he's not used a guide or anything he's just worked out as he's gone along because he's seen me doing it on stream he's seen other people doing it and stuff but we are going to go ahead and see if we can help him improve here as he's going to need to do quite a hell of a lot of these kills so let's go through this let's see what he's got see if we can like point at anything as always we will start with like the inventory and stuff and then we'll go from there now one thing that i'm going to point out nice and early is he does have the tier 99 range curse you can see it down here and you can see that it is active he hasn't updated his prayers here so <laughs> if you're thinking he hasn't got his dps curse on the entire time he has it's there he just hasn't freaking put it on here so let's just keep that in mind because i know it's going to bug quite a lot of people if they if i don't mention that so we've got his, he's got full serenic he's got uh, cinder banes which do not work here so if you have nightmare gauntlets right actually you are better off using nightmare gauntlets here uh, or even like a, a, a death touch bracelet or anything like that cinder banes they do give the stats of course but you won't get the poison damage on him so there's no point in bringing those if you've got another option ring of death absolutely fine you've got uh, the ruby bolts which is good of course but then once the crystals get a little bit lower health we want to switch to uh, the onyx that you've got so we'll keep an eye on see if you do that we've got the jazz book which is perfectly fine you've got the uh, the killing cape so you suddenly just zuck upgrade cape um but i mean that's that's nothing to do with series so no problem i'm sure you'll get that whenever you go for it you've got essence of finality which i'm going to assume has a dark bow in it i will have to double check on discord with you for that one You're using the reckless aura and you have fleeting boots and like i say full serenic the perks don't matter too much uh, i'm pretty sure that your perks are probably fine your inventory you've got the adrenaline potion which is good to see however it doesn't like you're going to be using that right away seeing as your mouse is already over it uh, there is something that you can do where you don't use that straight away and you save that for when you jump up on the on, on the, the the ledge there but it will check about your dps see if it's enough to actually matter anyway because you might be off cooldown when you jump up so it's all good but usually you want to save the adrenaline dose when you jump up so you can use that with your your son you have death swiftness when you're up there so you've got elder overload you got prayer and all which is good your inventory looks good you got a shield which is tier 90 you have weapon poison which you probably won't drink it's probably just part of your preset for a uh, uh, ed1 sorry it's probably just the preset you got chins and stuff so you're not going to be using those here he's got revo plus plus on however he's not using revo plus plus he is going to be using his uh, thresholds manually by the look of it because basics going through with revolution and then he's going to be manually you can see there manually using his uh, thresholds but this just means that if he doesn't actually use any i guess it'll pick it up for him uh, like during switches and whatnot but i doubt it'll get to that point so the way these work and this is something you'll get used to over time right if when you're killing this boss you want to kind of always have an eye on this this little tail hand whatever it is i think it's a, i think it's part of his tail uh, we want to keep an eye on this as much as you can because every now and again he's going to slam the ground and i'm sure you know this at this point but every time he slams the ground if you move instantly it will actually be where you went where you came from so it won't follow you or anything it's not like a delay route so if you actually just move straight away then of course you'll you'll be able to dodge that nice and easy so you'll you'll get used to keeping an eye on that so here you are going to probably tank that to the face. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, the first one doesn't matter too much. You didn't need to eat up here because what you can actually do, of course, you're learning, so that's fine. But what you can actually do is chuck on resonance, um, chuck on a shield and resonance on the next one. And usually, if you res every second hit and you actually take your prayer off when you res it, you go back to full health. So you can tank one, res one, tank one, res one, tank one, res one. And usually, when you, as long as you get to the next dragon breath, you can actually fully heal from that. Because if without prayer, you will always fully heal. So absolutely possible okay second dragon breath coming in and again just tanking it you just eating through it that's fine but yeah what you can do is literally just res that as soon as you see the message for, for dragon breath you want to chuck on your shield uh, and just just res it'll save you a hell of a lot of food here comes another dragon breath you could use devotion or debilitate or you could resonance <laughs> you could just tank it to the face um that's what, i mean it doesn't make much difference like i say you're learning uh, we're just gonna look for specific things like mechanical things that you could be doing differently so you do have quite a lot of adrenaline here. Did you death swiftness at the start? Actually, let's just check that. We're on 1 minute 51. Let's just go back to the beginning. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> first of all, you have, a, you have an adrenaline crystal at wars, dude. Come on. You can, you can come here with uh, adrenaline, by the way. So if you come here with adrenaline, you can drop your death swiftness straight away. That will help you out. I think, did you use an adrenaline potion at the beginning? You did. Man, come on. <laughs> so for anyone thinking I might be being a bit harsh, 
um, Ryan Edgy and I know each other like pretty well, so don't worry. There's a little bit of like jokes and whatnot, but uh, yeah, man, you can definitely just bring your 100% uh, adrenaline from wars to this. So you can bank after you've killed those things at the top and open the door. Uh, you don't have to use the indoor bank. You can go to wars, get your full full adrenaline, come back, drop your death swiftness. Um, then you one, you won't need to um, use the adrenaline potion anyway. Uh, but yeah, it, it's definitely worth using uh, death swiftness at the beginning. You'll get so much DPS faster, meaning you'll take less damage and of course less food, and uh, that's a good thing. So let's go back to where you were around about here. So you're on 100% adrenaline here. You've only got 65k health left and you need to get to 7.2. So it's not worth death swifting now, but you could definitely dump these thresholds. You may not feel too comfortable with tendrils, seeing as it's your first kill. Uh, another thing that I've noticed is you do have vulnerability bombs. But you haven't used it now Seriu is a bit weird so if you use vulnerability button and clip on click on sell each Seriu, it won't actually throw it to it you need to click under him but wait literally what like this circle here you need to like click in that area and that'll work for you so it's definitely worth using the vuln bombs on him as well because the faster you get that down the less like of these freaking dragon breaths and all that mechanics and stuff you've got to deal with the less time you're in the fight the less time there is for you to like screw it up because this is a fight that can be screwed up super easy and one mistake can cost you like the entire kill so what you can do? Oh, look at you with the look at you with it. You've you've been watching. Look at you with a click, man. That's that's so good. That's what I want to see. Clicking the crystal before you go up makes it so easy. Because look where your mouse is now. You can try and line it up, but it just doesn't work. So if you right click first, you don't lose this, and you can attack straight away. Now I want to see now what you do with this straight away. You, you've done that. You've done the look at you surging forward with the mines. Good stuff. Got your mines down. You want to be using the Vaughn bomb here. You've used the Vaughn bomb. Good to see. And you want a death swiftness, right? So, this is one thing that will help you out like a hell of a lot. And I know this is something that you um, like have mentioned before about like using and stuff. And it's death swiftness. You need to be using your death swiftness, man. Makes such a big difference. If you death swift here, you'd get through this so much faster. I think you're going to get this. I'm pretty sure you'll get this crystal. Um, I'm pretty sure you could probably only do one crystal a kill. But we'll see what happens. But if you use death swiftness here and then an adrenaline potion, which is actually available to you because it's not still on cooldown, you could have got through this a hell of a lot quicker, I think. Is your book on? Your jazz book's not on, dude. Come on, man. Get your freaking jazz book on. Oh, have you run out of pages? I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you probably just pick up. But um, yeah, the jazz book would have been pretty damn good there. Did you just use? I used dark bow. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. That was a good hit from the dark bow, actually. So I think when you are using dark bow, one thing to keep in mind as well is just if you've got these cooldowns, because if you go back to when you use the dark bow, uh, your rapid fire is like ready. It's coming off global cooldown like right now. Rapid fire would have been better to use first because if you look, if you're 95% adrenaline now and use a rapid fire, it drops by 15%, meaning you can still use your dart bow afterwards. But when you use your dart bow now, you go all the way down to 30%, meaning you can't use any thresholds unless you use like limitless or something. So it's always good to prioritize the thresholds before using dart bow and just use dart bow when you're dumping adrenaline and everything else is on cooldown. It's definitely uh, the best way to do that. So you got the crystal, awesome. You do not need to jump down here. You've just noticed as well. <laughs> you just noticed, didn't you? Watch. He clicks the crystal and he's like, oh, wait, no, I don't have to. Yeah. So here, you don't need to go back down. I can see you trying to cancel. You're probably going to get frustrated as hell. Uh, you're going to go straight back up, aren't you? Yeah, you know. You know. That's fine. Yeah, so you, you don't need to jump down there. You can just completely ignore it. Wait for the Uber heals. You can use uh, Dominion Mines again there as well. I don't know if you noticed, but like your Dominion Mine cooldown ends here. So if you'd search forwards here, you could have placed more Dominion Mines down, which meant you would have got another, what is it, 20k damage in total, just from not really doing much. But as usual, as usual, we'll get through the kill first, and then we'll come back and we'll specify more on that sort of thing. But even you just hearing that now will probably make you realise, oh, actually, yeah, I can, I can do that in future, and you'll probably remember. So here you want to free them straight away. That's it. Probably greater ricochet on these. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Got all of them straight away. Nice and easy. And that is a dead right at you nearly. Frick, man. <laughs> you get that magic prayer on. Okay, so one thing I'm curious about is your aura is about to run out. Are you going to use something like Madrat or Dark Magic? I would love to see you use some defensives on these. You use Devotion. Okay, you use Devotion for that, but did you use it for that or before? I, th I feel like you just used it just because. Oh, no, you did use it because of the, the Dragon Breath. Good. So that's fine. That's that's what, that's what you want to see. Use your defensive. Use devotion and resonance. You can rotate those. You can use resonance for the for one of the heals. And you can use devotion for the other. And that way, doing that alone, you can pretty much no food this this boss. So another thing here is, as soon as you come down, it would have been worth using death swiftness again. Build the death swiftness, drop it, and you get through this a hell of a lot quicker. So if you can kill one crystal each time you phase, you should be looking at a lot faster kill time. And I think this is going to be about 12 minutes. Looking at the time. 
So, if you can kill one crystal each time, then you should be looking at saving yourself a lot of time um, on that anyway because of phasing time. So you can just drop your death swiftness, make use of that, uh, and you can definitely, definitely save yourself a bit of time on that as well. But you're doing good, man. This is so good for your first kill. Like, I need to mention, and I know that I may be seeming a little bit more harsh than normal, but guys, like I say, Ryan Etchie and I are good friends, and um, it, we're just, it's just, <laughs> it's just a bit of fun as well. Uh, and, I, and I just know that he'll get a laugh out of it. But at the same time, like, you're doing really good, man. You are doing actually really good. For your first kill, it took me 26 minutes for my first kill, and about eight attempts. I'm trying to see if there's anything else specifically that uh, I could mention. You've got you're watching that hand like an absolute hawk right now. Actually, I mentioned it earlier, but you you have seem to have got that like you, you yeah look. Oh yeah, you're fine with that. You're all good. Important. Turn off auto retaliate, please. <laughs> please turn off auto retaliate. That would have that would not have happened. This here, where your your character is just like going crazy at Seru, like really angry at him for some reason. You phase and you just like stop to attack, stop to attack. You're clicking jump. Like you can see you're clicking jump, but your guy's like just I'll just fire off a couple more hits for no reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you want to just turn off auto retaliate for that. Cause to see with this. So what you want to do here is exactly what you're doing pretty much. But what you can do is if you as soon as you press attack. If you spam number seven, as soon as you click attack, so if you click and then spam number seven, you can actually get the bleed on it straight away and then surge because surge doesn't share the cooldown with the global cooldown. So if that, if you use an ability first, you can then surge uh, straight away and it won't it won't affect any of the cooldowns. So you can definitely do that because here you're going to get uh, your, your surge as your cooldown, I think, right? So you can definitely just use a bleed first. You got your mind's down super quick. And that's so good to see. You're not going to have an issue getting through this, I don't think. But man. If you death swiftness, you'll get through so much quicker. <laughs> you will. It doesn't matter too much because you're going to get through anyway. You could tendrils as well. Oh, did you just dream part? Oh, no. Why didn't you dream part? <laughs> okay. So I assume you just went, oh, I've not a dream part. I can use it. I'm assuming that's probably what you did. But you have no abilities really. Um, you can use tendrils or bombardment, but you can use tendrils anyway. And bombardment's trash. Then you got sniper ready and snipe ready and stuff. So you, you're all right for adrenaline. Unless you plan on like death swiftening, like afterwards, you used it for dart bow. Okay, so yeah, you, I mean you would have got that without dart bow anyway. But this is sort of stuff you'll pick up. You'll just pick it up as you're doing it. Like it's not anything too much to stress about. I think your big issue is is the food consumption. I think that's the main thing you need to work on is food consumption and the second crystal here. I think you could two cycle this. You could two you could two cycle so you. And after this after this after this video, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to help you get a two cycle because there's so many things that you could do that will help. And I, I know you can do it because I'm watching what you're doing here, and I know you can do it definitely. Um, you could you could two cycle because look, you, all you've done is attack this. You've not usually Dominion Mines where you can use again. That's another twenty k off. That'll put you down to like what ninety k damage. <clears throat> you've not used Death Swiftness. You've you can do you can two cycle this. Hundred percent, you can two cycle this without a doubt. So you don't even have an aura, man. Your aura. When did your aura drop? Your aura dropped before you got up. Yeah, your aura dropped before you got up. So you didn't even have an aura and you flew through that. Not a problem. And you don't even have the good gloves. Ma'am, you're two cycling this after this, okay? We'll talk specifically about what to do when you jump up on the on the crystal towards the end. Uh, and then uh, we'll touch on other things like your, your food and whatnot. Uh, but otherwise, you, you're pretty mechanically solid on this boss, actually. Considering this is like your first kill ever. I think you need. I think you don't give yourself enough credit. <laughs> for your PBM skills, man. I actually think that you don't give yourself enough credit. You're still learning, obviously, like you say, but everyone's still, I'm still learning. You're doing great, man. You're actually doing great. Abilitate. Yeah, that would have been good a little bit sooner, mate. <laughs> Just a little bit sooner, but you're okay. You can tank those. That's fine. So I've noticed you rarely use tendrils. I don't. I don't think I've even. I don't think I've seen you use tendrils actually. But tendrils is amazing. It's a max hit. It's a, it's it's pretty much max hit. It doesn't always max, but it 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 will max most of the time. So tendrils with your gear right now, you should absolutely use it because yes, it will cost you some health. But if you flick to soul split, if you flick to soul split for it as well, trust me, you you absolutely worth using. You've done a, you've done really well, man. 11 minutes and 17 seconds, I guess. Yeah, 11, 7, 11, 18. That's, that's good. 10 agent scales as well, you lucky little bugger. 
So there is some things to talk about that's going to help you improve quite a bit. What we'll do is we'll touch on the main things that are going to help you out and probably other people watching, the main things that they might be able to improve on as well. And then any other little bits, like extras, I can uh, always get you to send another kill and I'll just watch that without a video and whatnot for you. But let, let's go back. Let's cut through the little bits that I know that you need to do, uh, touch on and then we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that and hopefully that will help you improve. I reckon you can probably get a two cycle. I'll mention how to do it for anyone wondering. The first thing you need to do is start working death swiftness into your rotation. But the very, 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 very first thing you need to do is make sure you start the fight having got your adrenaline from wars, man. This, 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 this is important. This is really important. You've done enough kills to get the adrenaline crystal now, right? I'm almost certain of it. Yeah, you start next when we do our next in Ratchet. You start with 100%. So whether this was just a one-off that you haven't done it, get it. Because if you, what you want to do is run down. And as soon as you, as soon as you start, surge forward now and just use, just use death swiftness. Then you can either drink your adrenaline potion, but I'd save it for when you jump up. Drop a vulnerability bomb and just go to town. Um, but yeah, death swiftness, so important. Always use death swiftness whenever you can, whenever it's a good time to use it. Obviously, don't use it when Seru is on two, like 7.25 mil health because you've got 50k damage before you jump up. But if you use it like at the beginning of each phase, then it's, it's going to give you a hell of a lot of value. The next thing that I know that you kind of need to work on is going to be the, the management of your food <laughs> and your healing, okay? So you are easing through a lot of mechanics. This is your first kill. I am not surprised that you're just easing through a lot of mechanics, uh, but you do understand the boss because I know you've seen me do it a load, and from how you're killing the boss, I can tell that you understand the boss because you've not been hit by the mechanics. You have, that like, you're dodging this like spot on. This was like one of the hardest things for me, keeping track of that thing. Um, you When you jump up, you're right clicking the crystal, you know what you're doing. So honestly, you can resonance these hits, and I know you can, <laughs> you can definitely, like now shield on resonance that's it you don't even need to take your prayer off you'll get a 3k heal you won't have to eat a rock tail every time you eat you're losing adrenaline if you're not eating a rock tail you're drinking a brew which is draining your stats so it's going to slow you down a little bit of course these are little things but they will add up trust me and it will save you a lot of money that yak that you've brought there that's an expensive yak that is a very expensive yak so yes you want to be doing this definitely so you can vulnerability um, bomb Seryu, and this is going to be important as well because it's 10% damage, and he has a he has a ton of health. Like obviously you're not doing the whole like full health bar. He has 7.5, so you need to do 300k damage. So one vuln bomb is 30k damage, and that's a lot, right? If you can do that vuln bomb down, and you can DPS him down in like just over a minute, that vuln bomb is going to be about 30k damage uh, at the most, or like 25 to 20k damage for for thing. And you're dropping the Dominion Mines 20k damage, so it makes sense to just drop that vuln bomb. You can change these gloves. You don't need these gloves anymore. The the Cinderbane's not needed. You can swap those for if you've got Nightmare Gauntlets, which I think you probably will have Nightmare Gauntlets because range is your main style. So I'd say you probably have those. So you can swap those out. You don't need to use Weapon Poison, which I know you just used because you weren't sure and you, you, you thought, you know, it is a good thing. It's, it's good that you weren't sure, so you just used it anyway because it's cheap to use and it's good damage. So it's absolutely good that you've used it. But just so you know, in the future, you don't need to use those. Uh, you could rework your inventory a little bit for future kills when you're worrying about food because if you are going to come off the yak, which I think you are absolutely ready to do as long as you get those resonances him you can come off the yak and get a ripper demon with scrolls so he'll help you dps down the main phase of seru you can get rid of your second shield and just keep your defender you can probably get rid of the vitality potion because you didn't need to use it and you can probably get rid of your chin chompers now i know this is like a lot of working around inventory and stuff and you may not want to get a second preset because this is just your your dungeon run preset i can tell this is just what you use to run the dungeon just swap them out before you come in man like if it takes you 30 seconds to swap them out um <clears throat> but it's going to make your kill easier and faster then it's definitely worth it absolutely you've got everything else now that you need you can get the weapon poison you can get rid of the shield you can get rid of um the vitality potion and the chin chompers that's four more spaces that you can have for food so here perfect you jumped up You've just phased it, you jumped it straight away, you right click the crystal because it does that stupid movement thing and you've got it spot on. What you want to do the second you get up is as soon as you get up, you want to click that, that little button that you have there. As soon as you click, press number seven on your keyboard or on your mouse, whatever you're using, um, fire off your little bleed surge forward and drop your dominion mines as you are because watch you will do that you'll surge forward you go straight and drop those dominion mines that's great as you're clicking those press b that's going to drop your death swiftness for you and as soon as you drop your death swiftness then you can use your adrenaline potion 
and you can DPS the living crap out of this and it'll be gone before those blobs get anywhere near. You will have to dump all your adrenaline into it. You'll have to use snapshot, rapid fire and tendrils, which is something you need to start using as well because you've not really used it all that much. I don't think you used it once to be fair. Um, so tendrils is great. It's a max hit. It, it'll be a max hit, trust me. It'll miss sometimes, but most of the time tendrils is a max hit and it's always worth using. Trust me, just use it. It's worth it. Try not to use your dart bow until everything else is on cooldown. So if you use snapshot rapid fire tendrils, then use your dart bow because you, everything else is on cooldown anyway. Any lost adrenaline you can rebuild while the cooldowns are going. So definitely worth doing that. Jump up, bleed, mines, death swiftness, vuln bomb, and then just threshold the crap out of it. You'll be, you'll be fine. Uh, make sure your adrenaline potion too. As soon as this is dead, you move over to the second crystal, start DPS in that. You don't need to use any threshold on it. Just you just use basics to build your adrenaline up. And then once all of the once you start the, the third wave of heals, put your bleeds on it. Make sure the second crystal is vaughn bombed as well. If you vaughn bomb the second one as well, uh, before the blobs even get here, you can increase your damage a lot on that too. So just get your basics built up and then you can either onslaught it which is what I used to do, drop mines, onslaught, um, or you can just put your bleeds on when the third lot of heals come in, and you'll lose like one tick of bleeds, but they'll be on ready, and then just use needle shot, snapshot, needle shot, like, you know, you just rotate through, and you get all the damage out that you can, um, and you can drop dominion mines again, you got three seconds here, two, two seconds on your dominion mines, you could have searched for it and dropped now, and they would have gone through, the damage would have gone through before these blobs actually pulled you down, so they, they would have triggered, that's another 20k damage, if you can get this crystal to half health, before you get pulled down that means you can two cycle and i'm pretty certain that you can two cycle this so yeah definitely worth keeping in mind other than that man i don't think there's anything else to talk about i really don't i think that's pretty much it you you just need to work on the death swiftness you need to work on um using the tendrils and stuff and that that's pretty much it work on the resonance of the healing and you'll improve here like a hell of a lot so hopefully this was useful to you i really hope it was and i'm pretty sure you'll be following but it's a, it's a long fight so i don't want to be a ridiculously long video so hopefully you found some value in this and uh if anyone else has as well let me know in the comments um hopefully you did if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new head over to ryan edgy's channel as well give him a, a sub too videos are like spot on so go and give them a check out i'll link them in the description and in the comment uh, but yeah definitely check him out it's, it's absolutely brilliant so Thank you all so much to the channel members for watching as well. I hope you all enjoyed too. And I really do appreciate the extra support you guys provide. Other than that, guys, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Get good, Ryan Etchie.